Hello everyone, I am back with another shopping haul. I made a trip to Bozeman this time and um, got everything that you see here from one thrift store and then I have quite a bit of other items. So I might break this up because I think I hit five shops but I really only bought from three but I bought quite a bit from the three that I um, pur purchased from so um, this first haul is from a newer thrift store well it's not new it moved to a new location and my mom and I had never been to this one and we actually stopped going to Bozeman uh, back in like 2021 so a couple of years ago because they cleared out or they shut down quite a few um, antique shops and thrift stores that we had been going to there and so the thrift shopping wasn't that great so um, I'll get to this and show you what I got in this haul and probably we'll have more videos on the other hauls. Okay, so the first item here is this cat or kitten on a basket. I think this is made by Libby and um, it was $7.99 so I picked it up in the store and set it back down and came back around to it. I still feel like I paid too much for it. I would have preferred if it was five or under, um, especially in the clear, because when I, I did look these up in store and the clear ones don't sell um, for very much. The pink ones and the colored ones, I think there's pink, blue, green, and maybe a clear one. Um, the clear, I think, maybe sells for like $15 to $20 from what I was seeing. So, um, but this is really heavy. Um, and I don't see any chips or cracks. Um, it is really cute. It's in really good condition. It's just dirty. I need to clean it up. Um, but this might be a good springtime item. And hen on nest items right now are pretty popular. Um, so, you know, maybe the cat kitten on basket will, will go up a little bit in price, but I'll do some research and, and check it out. But I do feel like um, it was really cute and I hadn't seen the kitten on a basket in person, so. Um, and I do also have a bunny on a basket that's also in clear, um, but I've had that one. My mom gave that to me years ago and I've had that one for quite a while, but, um, I'm probably going to look at selling both of them. Um, I don't really use the bunny on a basket and, um, as cute as this one is, I don't, I don't think I would keep it and use it. So I'll probably put this one up for sale, um, but I'll look at comps and see where they're at. It'd be nice to get 30 for it, but I don't think it's going to sell for that much. Um, and these, I didn't get these at this particular thrift store, but I've had these sitting around and I can't remember if I showed these or not, but um, these are bleak vases um, and they're marked bleak visitor center. And I haven't seen these um, before. I've seen other, I have a couple of bleak vases and items in my store that are for sale and they're just, you know, they're not moving at all. But I know other people have had luck selling um, bleak, so I don't know. I'll have to do some research and just see. Maybe I'm not using the right keywords or something in my title, but um, these do look a little older and 
They do have, it looks like some type of floral pattern on them. Um, but I think when I just um, did like a Google image, image, image search, I was seeing that these were selling for um, $30.00. Piece, I believe so um, but I'm not sure if those were a taller vase or if they were these um, shorter ones and I did pay a dollar each for these and let me measure these and see what the height yeah these are about four inches in height so but they're really pretty. Um, they have a gold trim, no chips or cracks, and they do look to be vintage. So um, I'll comp these and see what these uh, are going to sell for. But they look like they were um, selling pretty well. Um, there were a few out there and at a good at a good price. So back to the thrift store that I did hit up, um, they had a bunch of, I don't know if they were like um, new old stock Kmart items, but this, I did pay $2.99 for this and it's new and packaged still um, and all of our Kmarts here in Montana have closed down so, and that's been quite a few years now so. She's really pretty. She's like, um, you know, plastic or resin. And um, this is called the Golden Elegance Lady Head Ornament. So it's like in a Victorian style. And um, she's really pretty. So I will look her up. Um, and actually, I did look this one up in store and I couldn't find anything um, that was an exact match, but similar items were selling pretty well, um, 25 to $30, um, again, even just on this one. So, and the fact that it is Kmart still kind of a new old stock item, I think that'll add to the price on this one. But, um, she's got blue eyes and red, red hair. And it's kind of, you know, styled and curled up. It's really pretty. And then um, all of this ribbon is like a cream colored ribbon with gold trim. And then she's got a, a vase or a rose up here on the top. And um, she's just really pretty. So I'll try to flatten this out and straighten this out a little bit and get some good pictures. But 25 to 30 for her, I think would be good. And um, then I did find a bag of um, napkin rings. And um, I know a lot of these are Christmas items and um, I did buy these, oh, it was probably two or three weeks before Christmas and then I just ran out of time so I didn't get a lot of this um, I didn't get any of this listed that I'm showing so and a lot of the haul that I brought back from Bozeman um, I did not get listed probably 75% of it I didn't get listed so um, you know I'm probably going to be sitting on some of these but I do list Christmas and any type of holiday items um easter halloween throughout the year but i did get a full bag of these um napkin rings they are very heavy there were there were eight in the bag and i don't see any damage on these um but they're probably just made in china um and um the napkin rings, probably for a set of eight, I can probably sell anywhere for thirty to forty dollars. And uh, but I'll do comps on these and see. 
see what these are selling for but they are really heavy so the shipping cost may be a little bit higher on these as well um but nap like i said napkin rings any kind they usually sell really well for me um ceramic resin porcelain um brass any type of metal and then the last um good thing of items that i got um from this thrift store I got a bunch of Kurt Adler uh, ornaments, and again, these are all new in stock, and I think that these also said came out, maybe not. Um, so, one, two, three, four. Five of these plastic, clear plastic moons. They have like a, a Santa face on them, and then there's like a gold plastic star that's hanging off the end of his hat. Um, so it looks like these are maybe, I don't know, clearanced out for $4. I'm guessing these are probably Monkey's ornaments, so I'm hoping these are, again, new old stock. Um, but I did pay $1.99 for each of the, the Santa Moon ornaments. And then, um, I did get, let's see, one, two, three of the Santa head. It's kind of like an old world Santa head. Um, and I did pay $2.99 for these. And he's got a nice white beard with like a cream colored velvet and then some gold stars and like a little fuzzy looks like maybe terry cloth type of fabric and then he's got a bell, <laughs> gold bell. And so he does make um noise and there were four of those and then i did get I did get, and I found an extra, so I had, I had five Santa heads and six, six of the, of the clear moons, um, but I knew I got one of these, um, bells, it's like a clear plastic bell with gold trim, and I paid a dollar ninety-nine for this one. And it's got a cream colored ribbon with a gold rose on it. Um, so again, Kurt Adler, he originally $3 or clearance staff for $3. I don't know. Uh, again, I'm assuming this might be Kmart. Um, but I'm not sure. Uh, so I'll probably lock these up or break them out somehow and um, figure out how to sell these but when I was um, looking at comps on these these were selling pretty good um they had mixed um prices on them the there was some reindeer some gold glitter gold reindeer that were maybe selling for 10 to 12 dollars and they kind of were in this type of style um, where they were plastic and then they had like gold and then and this ribbon thing around them. Um, but the Santa heads I think could probably sell quite a bit better. Um, and then same thing with these clear ones. I think these were probably the highest priced ones that I saw for comps. But I'll lot them up and see if I can sell them. Um, I don't know, in 
Oops. Or see if I can, you know, double or triple my money on these if I possibly can. Um, all right. So I will stop on this haul and I'll probably go ahead and move into the next one. Okay, and I'm, since I was talking about napkin rings, I'm just going to come in and show you these real quick. I think I showed these on a previous video, but um, I can't remember for sure. I'm so far behind in filming hauls. But I did get, um, this is a set of eight napkin rings. These are like a ceramic hobbyist piece. Um, in a drip glaze, so they're white or like a kind of a off-white color with yellow and green um, drip glaze. There's a set of eight, and I did um, pay a dollar for these, and I think I have these listed for 38 in my shop, so um, these will probably sell, and they'll probably sell uh, for springtime, so spring easter so i just wanted to show you that i do pick up a lot of napkin rings and they do sell really well out of my shop okay so i have a stack of linens and fabric items i probably need to calm myself down and stop with the linens because i don't I love them. I love the look of them and I know the work that goes into them, but I just don't have the time and I just can't take the time right now to um, clean and photograph and list and measure. Um, kind of the same thing with clothing. I've stopped picking up clothing. Um, but whenever I see some of these things, I just can't help myself. So. Um, this is like a pot holder. It was 50 cents. And um, this was at, I think, the, the Goodwill, um, one of the Goodwills in Bozeman, or um, maybe was over by uh, the Four Corners area. But um, this one's pretty clean. Um, so I might just be able to steam this one. And I'll probably lot this up. Um, with some other ones that I have in other colors. And um, this one is sometimes called, you can refer to it as like a 3D because it, um, it does kind of puff up a little bit. Um, but this was all hand done and it is really pretty and it's in fairly good condition. I mean, it's older, but, oh, and this is probably a hanger um, so you can hang it. Um, but yeah, I don't see any stains or holes on this one. So I'll probably lot this up with some other colors. And, you know, I can usually sell these for about 15 bucks a piece, 12 to 15. So I'll see if I can lot up two or three or four, you know, if I can make a set out of them and um, get these listed for spring. Um, and then this one, let me see if there's a tag. I think this was in a bin, and I think each of the stockings was $2, but, um, I picked this one up and I set it back down, and I made the mistake of looking inside, and, um, I saw this specially handmade by Eileen. <laughs> um, so it has, like, a red velvet back that... Um, I will definitely have to clean, use a lint brush and a roller on it, but this is, um, all cross stitch, so it looks like, um, popcorn with, uh, cinnamon sprigs and maybe little cranberries or little red berries. It's all stitched into a garland and it says mommy in blue. And then it has this cute little mouse, Mrs. Mrs. Mouse Claws, <laughs> holding a wreath, and she's got a little bonnet on. 
and it's in this you know blue and mauve tone so i'm sure this is probably from the late 80s early 90s just based on the color of it there are quite a few stains on it and that's why i kind of put it back down but um again i just i understand what goes into these so i will try to just spot um spot remove spot stain spot remove the stains on these and um see if i can get this somewhat clean um it does have also like a red silk or acetate liner so i hope that doesn't bleed if i get this wet but um i'll see what i can do with it and um again this is past Christmas, so uh, I'll probably be sitting on this one for a while because I doubt this one will get purchased, but stockings you really need to look at. Um, some of these hand stitch ones can go, you know, up to $80 to $100. This one, um, maybe $30 just depending on how well the stains come out, but I liked it. I thought it was cute and, and we'll see what I can do with this one for cleaning. And then this is, um, this is another one that was in the bin. And again, I think I probably paid $2 for it. And I don't see any tags on this one, but this is like a granny square style. Um, so you've got this nice bright red, um, deeper green and white. Um, so this is crocheted, um, hand crocheted. And this one, um, I can probably get like $30 to $40 for this one. Uh, but again, I will go ahead and list these. They may not sell right away. Um, but this one looks to be in pretty good condition. And this one, I'll either hand wash or hand steam. And then I lay them flat to dry. You know, I'll stretch them out and lay them flat to dry. And then I just picked these up um, for myself because uh, I do use a lot of these microfiber towels and cleaning. And so these are like two really huge ones. And I think I got both of these for 99 cents. But um, I'll just use these in my own home um, for my own personal use. Two of those. And there's a tag on them. Uh, oops. I don't know. Um, these are vintage for sure. Um, so these look like maybe like blackberries and raspberries in a basket. Um, it's a cream color with like brown and blue trim. There's two of them. I paid $2.99 each. And um, these are still new with tag. So they were 99 cents on clearance. And I believe these were Canon. Yeah. percent cotton loop yarn made in USA so I showed these to my mom and I was like really excited about them and I'm like oh look at these vintage towels and she's like well I don't think those are vintage but um they actually they are um I don't know if these are 70s or 80s but um, these are fairly older and they typically sell um, fairly well and the fact that they still have their new original tags um, I'm hoping I can get you know 30 to 40 for the set of two um, but they're really pretty and I like the blue and brown and the cream mix on these um, you know definitely 
definitely more of a vintage feel um, and look to these. So don't skip the vintage linens. I know I just said I need to stop picking them up, but um, I love them. So I found, um, I found, I think there were like six pieces in different colors and these look like they were all handmade um so these were i don't know these are they're not they're too small to be placemats so they just might be table mats or kind of like a pot holder type of thing um but the cloth you can tell is um a higher quality cloth and um they're just made really nice and i love the color of these so i paid 2.99 each um, for these two and i'm gonna keep these um, but i also saw um there was a set of two i think they were in green and then two that were in red and i had them all stacked up and my thought was i was going to keep the two blue ones obviously because i love the colors on them and then my mom saw them in the cart and she picked up the red ones and she was like "Ooh." and then she saw the green ones and she picked up the green ones and she's like these are really pretty and i said well I was gonna buy them to resell them. I said, but if you want them, just you know, take them. And she's like, no, I can't do that. And I said, well, you know, if you don't want them to keep them, I'm gonna buy them to resell them. And so she said, oh, okay. She said, I'll take them. So when I went over to visit them um, for Christmas, it was good to see she had the red ones out. So um, I was really happy about that. So these blue ones, I will probably, I pl plan to keep these for myself, um, but I just love the color on these, and um, we'll figure out where I can put these. I'll probably put them on uh, my dining room table or the breakfast table, but you can feel them. They're just really good, um, thick cloth, and um, they just look like they're made very well. And same thing with the red one and the blue ones, or the green ones. Okay, so I think that's all that I am going to show you in this haul. Um, for all the Kurt Adler stuff and the kitten in a basket, I did pay $42.85, which is probably a little too much. But if I can double or triple my money on that, um, that'll be great. All right, well, that is all that I have for you today, and um, I'll be bringing you another haul, actually probably two more, because I have um, two other bags um, from other shops that I hit up in Bozeman. All right, thank you very much. Have a good one. And um, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm looking to build up my videos and build up my channel and um, I just need some subscribers if possible and some likes and I will be probably posting some other videos that are more um, travel and sightseeing related um, in different locations um, just to put up a mix of videos uh, on my channel and just see how those do and those are really more geared towards probably like places that I source or that I go for vacation so all right thanks everybody and have a good one bye